Hello and welcome to this week's bulletin and to the start of the 2019 hay fever season. At last week's AGM, the Victorian Chamber was delighted to announce the appointment of our new president, Karen Sobels, Deputy President, Adrian Cloden, and new board directors, Kylie Warren, Michelle Windsor and Jeremy Blackshaw. We also acknowledged and thanked outgoing President Don Rankin for his leadership and guidance over the past three years. During Don's time as chair, we have embarked on significant internal and external projects that have benefited enormously from his experience and insight. In other news, the Victorian Chamber strongly supports the Coalition's commitment to moving a series of amendments to the Workplace Manslaughter Bill when it returns to the Victorian Parliament next week. These amendments address key concerns raised by employers with the bill. We consider that without these changes, the legislation will not achieve the best outcomes for safety, investment and jobs. Employers are working with the government, the opposition and the crossbench to ensure these laws are fair and equitable and that they deliver improved workplace safety outcomes. In closing, the December quarter of our Business Trends and Prospects Survey is now open to Victorian Chamber, Melbourne Chamber and Victoria Tourism Industry Council members. Special questions included in this month's survey invite you to tell us how unnecessary regulations are impacting on your businesses. We would like to understand your experience in dealing with regulators and your priorities for regulation reform. Your feedback will support our call on governments at all levels to cut red tape, improve business competitiveness and grow jobs. The survey takes five to 10 minutes to complete and you will also go into the draw to win a $300 credit to use towards attendance at a Victorian Chamber or VTIC event of your choice in 2020. Please visit our website at victorianchamber.com.au to take part. Thank you and I wish you a good week ahead.